Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, unique all-female New Shepard flight NS-31 confirmed. SpaceX Starship Flight Test A launch date pushed back to Monday. Southwest Jet narrowly avoids private aircraft while landing. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Unique all-female New Shepard flight NS-31 confirmed. Blue Origin announced the crew members for its next human flight NS-31. They are Aisha Bow, Amanda Wen, Gail King, Katy Perry, Carrie Ann Flynn, and Lauren Sanchez, who brought the mission together. The NS-31 mission will be the 31st overall for the New Shepard program and the 11th with humans on board. Aisha Bow is a former NASA rocket scientist, entrepreneur, and STEM advocate. She's CEO of STEMBoard, a recognized engineering firm, and Lingo, an edtech company. Amanda Wen is a bioastronautics research scientist, researcher at Harvard Center for Astrophysics, MIT, NASA, and the International Institute for Astronautical Sciences. Gail King is an award-winning journalist, co-host of CBS Mornings, and host of Gail King in the House on Sirius XM Radio. Katy Perry is the biggest-selling female artist in Capitol Records history. She's a philanthropist for many causes, including UNICEF, Goodwill Ambassador, and her own Firework Foundation, which empowers young people from underserved communities through the arts. Carrie Ann Flynn has had a successful career in fashion and in human resources, nonprofit organizations, the Allen Stevenson School, the High Line, and Hudson River Park. Lauren Sanchez is an Emmy Award-winning journalist, New York Times best-selling author, pilot, and vice chair of the Bezos Earth Fund. Blue Origin said the flight will take place this spring, but no date has been announced yet. After the break, Pan Am Flight Academy acquired by Acorn Capital. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Pan Am Flight Academy acquired by Acorn Capital. Acorn Capital Management announced the acquisition of Pan Am Flight Academy LLC. Pan Am Flight Academy is based in Miami and is an independent provider of flight simulator-based training and ancillary services focused on commercial aircraft platforms. The Academy owns a fleet of 25 full flight sims plus additional flight training devices. This acquisition is the fourth platform company in Acorn's fifth investment fund, and industry veteran Ed Wagle will become the company's CEO, with current president and COO Jeff Portanova continuing in his role. Pilots for Alaska and Hawaiian Airlines begin negotiations. ALPA announced that pilots for Alaska Airlines and Hawaiian Airlines have opened negotiations with Alaska for a joint collective bargaining agreement. If successful, both pilot groups will be brought together under a single contract, which would streamline future operations and negotiations since the merger of the two airlines last year. ALPA currently represents both pilot groups under the Alaska Airlines Master Executive Council and the Hawaiian Airlines Master Executive Council. True Blue reveals 6,500-watt DC-DC converter. TrueBlue Power introduced its new high-voltage TC6500 DC to DC converter. The TC6500 converts 270 BDC to 28 BDC to power avionics and other systems on board commercial, business, defense, and advanced air mobility aircraft. The TC6500 is lightweight at 10.4 pounds, compact, and easy to install anywhere inside the aircraft, whether inside or outside the pressure vessel. Units can be installed in parallel for increased power output and redundancy without any additional wiring needed. Icon A5 crash lands in Tennessee Lake. The pilot of an Icon A5 amphibious aircraft was able to swim away with minor injuries after crash landing into a Tennessee lake. 
The DeKalb County Fire Department responded to the accident just before 4 p.m. on February 25th. The plane involved is an Icon A5 single-engine amphibian, registered as November 459 Bravo Alpha. Flight tracking data showed that it took off from Smithville Municipal Airport at approximately 3.40 p.m., heading northbound. After around three minutes in the air, the A5 went down in Center Hill Lake. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. SpaceX Starship Flight Test 8 launch date pushed back to Monday. SpaceX announced that the eighth flight test of its Starship vehicle will take place no earlier than Monday, March 3rd. The word comes after the company tentatively scheduled it for today, Friday, February 28th, and said it may very well change again. The previous launch ended with mixed results as the Super Heavy booster successfully executed its boost back burn, returned to Earth, and was caught by the launch and catch tower as planned. However, after stage separation, the second stage experienced a major malfunction as it continued on its suborbital trajectory. The malfunction resulted in the second stage, referred to simply as ship, breaking up and cascading back into the atmosphere in a light show scene from Turks and Caicos. SpaceX said an investigation revealed that the loss of the ship was due to a harmonic response that was several times stronger during flight than was seen in testing. This led to increased stress on the propulsion system hardware, and the subsequent propellant leaks exceeded the vent capacity of the attic section where they occurred and resulted in fires. As an adjustment to the vehicle for the upcoming flight, additional vents and a new purge system were added to the attic section to be more responsive to propellant leakage. After these messages, Southwest Jet narrowly avoids private aircraft while landing. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Southwest Jet narrowly avoids private aircraft while landing. Chicago's Midway International Airport was seconds away from a major accident as a Flexjet Biz aircraft taxied onto a runway while a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 was landing. The airliner was forced to go around. Southwest Flight 2504 took off from Epley Airfield in Omaha on February 25th. After around an hour and a half in the air, it was instructed to set up for MDW's runway 31C. As the Southwest 737 was preparing to land, a Flexjet Bombardier Challenger 350 was taxiing for departure to Knoxville, Tennessee. Air traffic controllers instructed the business jet to hold short of runway 31C, but its pilot somehow heard and repeated, cross the 22 or 13C Flexjet 560. As controllers attempted to stop the jet, the airliner was forced to abort the landing. It executed a steep go-around, passed over the Challenger at 250 feet, and circled back to land. A Southwest spokesperson stated, quote, The crew followed safety procedures and the flight landed without incident. Nothing is more important to Southwest than the safety of our customers and employees, end quote. The incident comes during a time of heightened awareness regarding runway incursions. The NTSB investigated 13 incursion events, ranging from no safety impact to near misses between January 2023 and September 2024. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.